This is a PLC and the touch screen control. The Lama CNC bending machine is a, the feeding and the rotate is by servo motor and the, the bend is by hydraulic. This is the first page of the touchscreen and you can select English, Chinese or if you have other second language like Espanola or Japanese or Korea and you can give us the translation we can input here. Now this is English. This is a main operation manual. This machine can do the manual or automatic. And you need to set up the parameter of the machine and need to set up the program. On this manual page, you can see this uh, clamp is this. It's called clamp and the back. Here is the guide die, it's also called the, the pressure die. This uh, guide die that can clamp and loose. Manual. This is a manual. Manual can move forward and backward. Manual. Clutch is also, also called a uh, collet. Assist is means this, uh, this this part when the machine bend this part also move forward to push it bracket bracket is this part it can move up and down up is to support the tube and when this carriage come to here this bracket will be down to avoid the crash. When you first operate on this machine, you can go to this manual page and you can click, for example, the dolly, speed, go back. You can check if every movement of this machine works normal. Then you return. This is a, the parameter of the of the machine. You can see all of this is the every movement, uh, the time. For example, clamp time. This is clamp take uh, about uh, two point three seconds before the next uh, movement. Uh, This page normally we set up it uh, uh, with a test program on the machine and you just input according to that. This is producti productivity setting. For example, you want to make uh, 1,000 pieces. 1,000 pieces and uh, with the machine band uh, like 1,000 cycles, it will be uh, calculated automatically. And when the, your productivity reaches to 1,000 pieces, you need to quantity clear it to make it zero. Then go to the program page. Program page. First is the machine lens. Machine lens you can calculate it by here. The dolly, you back it.
This is the length of the machine, 2,917. You can see. 2910. This is how you calculate the machine length. The tube length is the length of the tube you will be uh, bend on this machine. It depends on your real situation. Interference length. The carriage. Come to here. This is called uh, the bracket. It will come here and this bracket will automatically down. So the lens is measured from like this. Wait. Bracket. We keep it safe. We set it up it as 900 millimeter. 900 millimeter. Lens of the guide mount. Is this lens? We, you can set a little longer for safety, and we we here set 400 millimeter. 400 millimeter. We put 400 millimeter. Front limitation. This is front limitation. It means. Uh, not crash the wipe dime we set as 260 millimeter it means the dolly can just go forward to here not move forward to crash it bend the number of reclap it means when your tube is very long and you need to make the tube go through here all the way inside until the back to go through the carriage. Then you need to use this function band number of reclap. It means in which band number you need use the function of the reclap. Loading position Normally, it's the same length of the tube. It means the carriage will stop where? Stop in which position you load the tube inside it. The bank lens, back lens. The carriage comes here and to clap the to bend the last band here first. Clamp and this call it release carriage back. So the length is measured from here. For example, like here. Here we put 500. The carriage will stop here, and then this machine carry the last band. Then you need to download it me save and go to the next page. Next page is uh, the feeding lens, rotator, angle and the bend angle. And this is the speed. Since this machine is uh, just the feeding and the rotate is by seven motors, so the speed of the feeding and rotate can be adjusted here, but the band is by hydraulic, so the speed cannot be changed here. Feed lens is the first straight lens. And then the rotate angle, bend angle is a bend angle. Uh, you need to be noticed that all the speed you need to input if there is any data input for example rotate 0 110 you need to input the speed of all here a very important uh, data is about the pre-position lens pre-position lens is it's almost the 
lengths of here but a little bigger. Here is 600, you put it as say 650. This what it means is you make the first band and this carriage will fit a little longer like six, uh, 650 and then you do the for example the rotate or the feeding after the program page is set up and then you go to the automatic one. Autom automatic move that you need to first set the original point it means the mach machine every movement back to its original point And then you can start the program, just uh, you input by the footstep.